Today is a day, a big day, a special day in the lives of AFC Thames. We've had a transfer window. Let's talk through what we've managed to achieve so far. Welcome back to today's video. Now, before we get started, we've got something special. Today's video, for the first time in about two years, is sponsored. Away we go. I interrupt this video to announce that this video is sponsored. Now, as a full manager player, there are lots of deals that come my way that I turn away, but So Rare is not one of those. If you like your fantasy football, of course, your football manager, FIFA, things like that, this is one of the most perfect things for you. We're talking global fantasy football. You put together a team of five and you can compete against your friends and other people around the world to, to, to be... A, a so rare god the best bit is you get cards with provable rarity nfts have you heard about them do your own research on them they're, they're, they're the new thing on the block right these are the things that are going to take over so you get complete digital ownership of the cards that you have that you buy they change in value that they move around as i say it's that fantasy football model with some real life perks as well the best bit is like the strategy to it, right? All the European leagues are ending, but the Euros are coming up, the Copa America, you've got the K League and the MLS. So you can change the way in which your team would compete and the ownership that you have within the players that are available to you within So Rare. So as you can see on board here, we've got uh, Mohamed Salah, Christian Eriksen, uh, Kelohim Kelleher, the, the Liverpool goalkeeper. I forget it's an Irish first name, it's a challenge. And you can see Rob Magnoli as well from AC Milan. This was the first pack that I got, but the rest of them I can open, I can show you who I get. And again, this is, this is an idea for you maybe if you want to get involved. This bit is completely free so if you just want to see which players you end up with sort of the common players that you get um yeah you can you can do this there's a link in the description check it out and uh, yeah as i say tweet me your initial teams so what are the leagues you've got the all-star league the under 23 league and the champion of europe and the best thing about this is like there's real money involved here for winning certain roles all you've got to do is have a decent team that performs well in the fantasy football aspects of things and then the money is yours okay so now you have to put together our team right okay so you can select your team you just i think you just simply click on them right yeah so the, in he goes uh, we've got a couple of defenders i think we'll go to we go ron mcnally christian erickson seems logical to me mohammed salah i'm basically just picking a super team here and then we'll go with diaz as well there's a, there's a nice milan based connection here so that's so rare interested as i said i've said it, I've said it a few times now link in the description send me your teams on twitter and uh yeah this might be something we can we can share and do maybe more videos on in the future too anyway back to the video so there we are shout out to so rare i'll be posting some of my uh, future progress over on twitter so yeah get over there and if you are going to get involved then please do act responsibly with it you know don't do anything that you can't afford to do and if you just want to do the free element of it then you know have some fun with it right then on with the video then and we had a transfer bonanza over on uh, twitch yesterday i did a whole stream uh, dedicated just to some transfers and you've seen the title of today's video uh, viewers we are in a position right now that we've never been in before it's our best odds for forever i think i think if you even if you go back all the way back all the way back to like season one i don't think our odds for for being promoted were this good we viewers are at boom wow i mean i didn't click boom wow I, I, I sort of undersold that there uh 50 to 1 now <laughs> admittedly we are still uh 23rd but 50 to 1 i mean that's basically odds on at this point now, the problem for us is that Blackburn Rovers, Premier League champions, former Premier League champions, Blackburn Rovers, and former Premier League side QPR also sit in this division. It's a pretty stacked division now with Blackburn, QPR, Reading, Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday, Bolton. I was basically talking about teams that have been in the Premier League before and are now in League One uh, and joining me. The big bit of news is on this team, the Media Dream 11, we have a player in it. Can you believe it? And it's not Chuck Wu, who I tried to think about signing very briefly and then... Well, that's not happening. But we'll get to read momentarily. Let's take you through then in order of the players that we've got in this side that I think, I think we can win the league. That's crazy, I know. Actually, our Blackburn good. I should probably check Blackburn first. Let's look at values, uh, the, the value of the, the best Blackburn. But okay, well, I think we can be in the playoffs coming into the, the season. So that's good as well, right, guys? There's the formation. 4-4-2, four, four, change things around. Right then, let's see how the, the side that we're building fits into this. So the first thing to cover, and it's always one of the key things to cover, are the players that have left. And Dylan Fitzpatrick, Ralph and McKinney have left us. That, there's a couple of big names there, really. Like, Ralph is a player that, retrospectively now, if I could sign back, I, I probably would do, but can't. It's, it's one of those situations. Uh, Jonathan Fitzpatrick that I bought from West Brom, thinking that one day it might be worth some money. Uh, helped us get promoted, of course, from League 2, but in League 1 found it pretty tough last year, so I figured rather than trying to re-sign him on a huge contract, he was on like four grand a week. Let him go and uh, use that money more wisely. 
And how have we used that money for you as well? We're going to find out here together then. We've brought in, as you see, a whole host of names. Nine names there uh, that have been brought in. Uh, I should say, Panikos, um, we'll just say Panikos, has gone to Elves Fleet, a 22-year-old Cypriot goalkeeper that I uh, never played, just in case anyone was like, who the hell is that? So, Elvis Tete. Now, we have looked at him before and was a player I wanted before. And obviously, that was when we were a few divisions back. I think it was either Van Aron Ashton, actually. Uh, but as a, as a sort of a, a good central midfielder that can play it's sort of a playmaking role, that's where I see him, right? Deep blank forwards uh, sorry deep line playmaker advanced forwards him and Barras are going to sort of share that role I feel like and it might be a, a combination of a few different things actually and we'll talk about that in just a moment but he comes in as I say someone that has been at one of the highest levels right you're going to you're please starting at Arsenal and then dropping down slowly he was in the National League last season for a couple of seasons with Solihull Moors and I'm so impressed by what he did there right goals and assists that I felt like it was the perfect move for him to come to us we need an injection of goals from midfield and hopefully he can provide just that I'm playing a 4-4-2 we're going to need someone from that midfield to do it. And he could be the guy. So, welcome, Elvis. Oh, like, as if I wasn't going to do that. Come on. Um, now, look, the goalkeeper situation is a little bit of a situation. <laughs> the goalkeeper situation is a little bit of a situation. Eddie Doherty has come in, right? And he is going to be our new first choice goalkeeper going forwards we had Billy Ford of course on loan last year we had Royston Kincannon as well and as much as I like Royston Kincannon I think Eddie Doherty is just a slightly better version of him 19 years of age comes in as the first choice goalkeeper on 1.3k a week has been released by Charlton of the championship it just to me feels like the right move at the right time uh, eccentricity is one I kind of prefer that to be around sort of the eight to seven mark uh, the idea that he'll never make saves that he's not really expected to make is a little bit frustrating but generally speaking I like the idea of him being the side decent agility some decent goalkeeping attributes there as well very well rounded um and again a decent league one level goalkeeper so we like this decent kicking as well for this level of football which i personally am a big fan of uh moving back on to joel russell then a familiar face i'd hope for a few of you uh joel russell comes in then back on loan after having a really good spell last season at 7.03 for Millwall. we've got him up again this year uh probably gonna be our starting center back this season actually he played a little bit all over the place last year but i think with the attributes that he's got he suits that role really well uh so welcome joel russell to the team nice to see a familiar face right let's waste no time andrew Reed is sitting there ready to ready and waiting five grand a week for this guy we have gone in on him and on John Solomon. We'll talk about him in just a moment. But Andrew Reid then, right-sided midfielder. This is the best player I've ever had for Thames. That's how I feel about it. I've never had a player this good in my lineup. As I say, on loan from Leeds United, can play on the right-hand side where he's going to be featuring for us to begin with, can play cutting in from that left-hand side if we decide to change things up. Um, look, has played a lot of non-competitive games for Leeds, hasn't featured for them at professional level yet, but will absolutely do that for us so far. In the friendlies that we've played, he's got two goals from the from three appearances and i just feel like we've got ourselves a diamond boy he's, like, he's so quick he's, he's five foot seven not too worried about that the decision making maybe a little questionable maybe the vision as well long shots could all be a bit better but again we're in league one you can't expect too much at this point championship premier league yeah we're looking for the complete packages but not right now uh, a mercenary which is fine he's a low knee it, it makes sense to me very very quick great agility great technique as well that 14 dribbling with that sort of pace Oh, I'm excited. Really good balance too. I think he's going to be a star for us. So we'll see if it works out. I'm hoping it will. Welcome, Andrew Reid. Uh, up next, now Fulham finally have let us have a footballer. Thank you to Fulham. Terry O'Reilly um, is not the most amazing centre-back, but considering he's costing us nothing all season, I like the fact he's here. A very solid sort of second, third-choice centre-back. That's not necessarily going to start every game for me, but if he had to, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Of course, those technicals are a little bit underselling, maybe. The heading, the marking, the tackling all need to improve, but he's only 18. They definitely will do. And probably, while here, he's the sort of player that if he does well for me this season, I would get again next year because Fulham would probably want him to have another spell, especially if it would be to be promoted or not, really. Um, at a team like us, it makes a lot of sense. I think a nice, well rounded centre back, six foot six as well, absolutely massive, very good jumping reach. Um, yeah, maybe just bring him on to the target man if all things go to pot. Now, Kean Carroll is interesting, of course. We've just talked about Andrew Reid, who is we've already got a player here, and Paul Ellison is also still here in the off chance that we move uh, Reed over to that left-hand side, sort of cutting in. I wanted a speed demon on this side. Paul Ellison has like 16 acceleration. It's not too bad. But the difference in football manager between 18 acceleration and 16 acceleration, if you've played the game before, you'll know it's pretty dramatic. So I went for Kean Carroll, 3.5k a week, He's also an asset to us here for a couple of seasons. If he just has a decent season this season, we can maybe move him on. Or again, he could become a bit of a more regular part of the furniture. 
if Reed doesn't return back, we need someone to play that right-sided role anyway next season. And that's why we got him on a two-year deal. It, to me, it made quite a lot of sense, actually. A free transfer, though, picked up from Ipswich Town uh, last year in the National League. Did okay. I think the way in which we're going to play and the system that we're going to play is going to be off the bench in a lot of games. That dribbling, that acceleration, the agility is going to cause teams problems, especially late in games. That's why he's here. It's a lot of money to play for, to have sort of a backup impact substitute. But it was something last season I felt we were missing. So it's really nice to have that now uh, as we continue forward. Dave Cook, very well round this centre back actually I want to say well rounded he can play left back he can play right back we've got someone who's a bit of a jack of all trades really six foot four so he's a big lad um I see him more as sort of the right back in our side to begin with a little bit more of a defensive right back I'm still on the search for a right back to be honest it's the 22nd of July I'm still looking to make a few moves in there if we can do but Dave Cook I think is again a really good player to have in the squad great positioning great tackling again nice jumping reach at six foot four you'd expect that potentially but yeah some really nice physical attributes uh joins us then uh, having been released by Charlton after a loan spell at, at, at Kings Lynn Town I should say sorry where he actually did pretty well last season and a team that weren't expected to do too much he did pretty well so um, yeah I, I'm confident that it'll be decent for me as we move on to the to the, to the two loan E's both of which from Bournemouth that oh viewers this is where I think things get a little bit more exciting again i've spent a fair amount of money for us and these two signings relatively later in the winter you can see we're on the 22nd one of them was today and again they happened on stream yesterday john solomon we made big moves okay now this as a striking option not to play as a winger i don't think but again maybe we could do right we've still got below playing up front we could play reed on that left side cutting in we could have this guy as a forward pushed up uh, role as well it could be a very dangerous three but for now as part of a front two as an advanced forward you, you're looking at his physicals and you're doing what i did you're going this is the kind of guy i really really need the first touch as well to take the ball into control to race forward with it the dribbling's pretty good too and then to finish things off this is the kind of guy we need the off the ball of 15 is exceptional at this level especially when you combine it with the agility and the pace right oh we've got a player here we really do i'm very excited to see how john gets on and uh, that wasn't necessarily supposed to rhyme uh, for bournemouth last year playing non-competitively 15 15 goals in 17 starts uh, 10 substitute appearances i think we're i think we've got ourselves a player here basically i think he's going to be really good it, it's a gamble i'm spending a lot of money on him and on reed and if we don't get performances out of either of them this season or or even one of them then this has been a real bad window but if if these guys perform i believe that this 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 is what this is the sort of thing that can fight you to promotion these kind of players and I decided to take a gamble. Our money is already in the mud, right? You can't help that. It's, it's there now. Don't worry about it too much. But again, we've got to get performances. And John Solomon, if he can be part of a front two and he can gel well with below, we've got two superstar, not superstar strikers, but superstar at League One level strikers. And that's what we need right now. Um, of course, we're looking at the likes of Tony Stone and a few others. And then finally, to round things off, Welsh in the centre. You can see why I like him. This left only style player this box-to-box -box player that's just going to be up and down up and down up and down really good stamina fantastic work rate really good passing too so he's got that, that technical ability um in terms of, again in terms of the passing right it's got a decent decision making it's the work rate it's his ability to get up and down support that that attacking too. support his left winger in stone to his left hand side and you can see why i wanted him right i say he and Solomon could be the difference between a playoff place and finishing mid-table, right? And that, that's where I think we were at. Our, our squad pre-window was completely diminished and we had to do something special. Our, our, last season was a disappointment because we seemed to get so close and then it just sort of fell away. And I feel completely rejuvenated in terms of this team being a team that can do some really magical things, right? Again, I can't, talk, I can't speak high enough about how excited I am by Andrew Reid. He could be just... I've not had players this good, right? We're, we're, our second season in League One, we established ourselves really well last season, and now we have the ability to go out and be the team that I really want us to be. Playing a system that I've never used before, like I've played sort of advanced sort of this type of system before, where you play the 2 2 2 2 system, but I just think to keep the defensive shape to keep the balance this is where we start and again star rating wise whether you pay attention to that or not it looks so much stronger than we've had before and the league table i say the preview at least seems to agree 50 to 1 is still a long shot to be promoted but we've been promoted and won leagues with with worse odds than that so I don't know. Get your predictions in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you think about the additions. Again, the window's not closed just yet. Financially, we are spending over our wage budget by quite a bit. Um, in terms of the wage budget for the league, though, because we have under 21 players who are on at like quite a high amount, you'd have to register those players as part of the cap. So if in case you're wondering, the league one level and how it all works. 
I think we've got a good side here. I look at the bench as well. There's some really nice depth in that. In fact, this is probably a better way to show this. There's some, there's some players here that are continuing to grow and continuing to build themselves into decent footballers. Again, you've got the likes of Cabbage on there as well that sort of goes under the radar on a team like this. Uh, Renatino still here. You think about these players that were starting for us. Barras is another one, right? These players that were starting for us for an awful long period of time are now going to be off the bench and providing depth to a squad that is starting to be assembled to be hopefully a real superstar team. Now, don't get me wrong. We are heavily reliant on loans as we would be if we were to get to the championship. But I think if we're going to sort of almost cheat our way there by not even having to buy these players, that's a market we should absolutely take advantage of. And well, we're going to. Uh, hopefully you can see how enthused I'm about this. Again, going through the players with you now has been a real joy. Um, and I'm looking forward then to seeing how we do this coming season. The next time we shall meet then will be the first games of the season. Rochdale and AFC Wimbledon tomorrow, 5pm, as you can always expect them to be. And uh, let's see then, can the boys do the business? I really hope so. We beat Fulham in a friendly, so well, what is there to lose? Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do drop a like on it. And um, if you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, any questions about the transfer window, get them in the comment section. Again, let me know your thoughts. Where do you think we'll finish? I'm positive. Some of you get this right a lot, so I'm always curious. See you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Come on, we're going to win the league.